hi Professor Sewell, this is Melissa Calero, and I'm going to go ahead and present my final project. So I have some notes right here, um, so I'm just going to be glancing back and forth because I didn't really memorize it all. So for a long time, I assumed that When Harry Met Sally was just going to be another generic, stereotypical rom-com film. I knew that it was famous for some scenes that we audibly all know and some famous lines, but other than that, I didn't think it was so special. My opinion swiftly changed though when I watched it. I quickly realized that it was the most realistically endearing film I've ever seen. From the lovable best friend personas to the use of classic love songs and just the overall setting, I find the film to be pleasantly enjoyable from beginning to end. But what I find most impressive about the film is how clever the, tri the writing truly is. When Harry Met Sally was written by Nora Ephron with some collaboration of course from the director and Billy Crystal along with Megan Ryan. The film avoids several classic love story cliches in a way that feels effortless and original. I want to talk about the importance of the genre. So we know that romantic comedies are undoubtedly one of the most repetitive forms of story structure we still see presently. Almost every time I see a rom-com, I already know what it's going to include from beginning to end and I can already make the conclusion out before the title card even appears. The usual boy meets girl, boy and girl despise each other, boy and girl separate, and then until something mu mutual magically occurs to have them meet once again, where we then see the relationship blossom, which eventually leads the actors to falling in love, blah blah blah, the usual happily ever after everyone is so accustomed to. And while it can be charming at times, I can honestly say that I've never sat down to view romantic comedy for the story. I mostly just entirely watch them because of the cast involved, and that's even if I even consider giving them a chance. Uh, so it wasn't until this film actually that I rekindled my so-called love-hate relationship with rom-coms. And I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie only because I thought it was gonna be just like the rest of the ones that we've had already watched. Um, but despite the fact that this was the first time that this was my first time watching this film, I surprisingly didn't mind it, so I quickly was notably stunned. Uh, the film takes on two charming and quirky characters and a story unlike I've never seen before. And of course, for those rom com fanatics, it still has those cliche rom -com fanatics. But this film takes the entire layout of rom com format and literally fully tears it into pieces. It's so incredibly realistic and charming, yet even satisfying at times because of its different attempts at showing us believable outcomes of how true love blossoms. For those that are unfamiliar with the film, I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and give a brief summary of the film. So it starts off in the year 1977, in which we see a man and a woman introduced by mutual friends after a college graduation. Um then it was decided by the two that they would go on a road trip to New York to start their professional lives. They're then stuck in a car for hours and the obnoxious conclusions were made. Um, we can see that the pair are complete polar opposites. Instantly, it is acknowledged that they disagree on almost everything. During the scene when they are on their road trip, uh, they're discussing the relationships between a male and a female. Uh, they have completely different perspectives on the roles a man and a woman can share. Now, with all the other modern rom-coms we're so used to seeing, I can argue that this is the most influential comedic film. Nora Ephron, as we know, was the screenwriter of When Harry Met Sally. She understood that when mapping out the story, she needed to recognize the importance and beauty in the reality realm of the complicated nature of human interactions. Stubbornness and the overall vulnerable incompatibility of some people, for example, can be taken. This movie makes it clear that it's not going to be a stereotypical, stereotypical film from the beginning. It sets up the theme that just because a man and a woman come into contact with each other doesn't always mean that there will be a relationship that follows. I've done some digging and in many interviews, Efron has been incredibly vocal about the different th propositions of how men and women follow how each of them perceive opposite genders and the intentions of their connections going forward. I believe that this film explains the angle Efron was trying to play on in her script. Forward, Efron understood when writing that in a relationship, there's no realistic approach where you can miraculously jump from point A to point Z in any given scenario. You have to take it one step at a time. We can agree that the true mastermind beho behind this whole film is Nora Efron. Uh, she knew the importance of telling the real portrayal of human interactions while also acknowledging the societal norms 
and what has become normal within the romantic comedy genre and going against the and going against the stereotypical grains creating a story of the journey to reach love in a way that reassured not only myself but many others who also admire this movie so much the idea that love takes time and that we that what we see in movies won't necessarily be the expectations that we're looking forward forward to but instead to find a joy in the little things and with all this being said i highly recommend watching this incredible film it's a really powerful one that will stick with you forever